Kate Elizabeth Winslet, CBE, born October 5, 1975, is an English actress. She is known for her portrayals of angst-ridden women, typically in period dramas and tragedies. Winslet is the recipient of several accolades, including three British Academy Film Awards, and is among the few performers to have won Academy, Emmy, and Grammy Awards. Born in Reading, Berkshire, Winslet studied drama at the Raydroofs Theatre School and had her first screen appearance at the age of 15 in the British television series Dark Season, 1991. She made her film debut playing a teenage murderess in Heavenly Creatures, 1994, and received her first BAFTA award for playing Marianne Dashwood in Sense and Sensibility, 1995. Global stardom followed soon after with her leading role in the epic romance Titanic, 1997 which was the highest-grossing film of all time to that point. She subsequently eschewed parts in blockbusters in favor of critically acclaimed but little-seen period pieces, including Quills, 2000, and Iris, 2001. The science fiction romance Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, 2004, in which she played one of her first roles set in contemporary times, proved to be a turning point in her career and she continued to gain recognition for her performances in Finding Neverland, 2004. Little Children, 2006, Revolutionary Road, 2008, and The Reader, 2008. For playing a Nazi camp guard in the last of these, she won the BAFTA Award and Academy Award for Best Actress. In the 2010s, she won a Primetime Emmy Award for playing a single mother in 1950s America in the miniseries Mildred Pierce, 2011 joined the Divergent film series, and won her third BAFTA award for playing Joanna Hoffman in Steve Jobs, 2015. Winslet was awarded the Grammy Award for Best Spoken Word Album for Children for narrating a short story in the audiobook Listen to the Storyteller, 1999. She performed the song What If for the soundtrack of her film Christmas Carol, the movie, 2001. Winslet is the co-founder of the charity Golden Hat Foundation which aims to create autism awareness, and has written a book on the topic, named The Golden Hat, Talking Back to Autism, 2010. Time magazine named Winslet one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2009, and in 2012, she was appointed commander of the Order of the British Empire, CBE. Divorced from the film directors Jim Threepleton and Sam Mendes, Winslet is married to the businessman Ned Rock'n'Roll since 2012. She has a child from each marriage. Kate Elizabeth Winslet was born on October 5, 1975 in Reading, Berkshire, England, to Sally Ann, nee Bridges, and Roger John Winslet. Her mother worked as a nanny and waitress, and her father, a struggling actor, took laboring jobs to support the family. Her maternal grandparents were both actors and ran the Reading Repertory Theatre Company. Winslet has two sisters, Anna and Beth both of whom are actresses, and a younger brother, Joss. The family had limited financial means, they lived on free meal benefits and were supported by a charity named the Actors Charitable Trust. When Winslet was ten, her father nearly lost his foot in a boating accident and found it harder to find work, leading to more financial hardships for the family. Even so, Winslet has said, we never felt like the poor kids, which is absolutely a credit to my parents. We lived in a lovely terrace house and we all had each other. Winslet received her preliminary education at the St. Mary and All Saints Church of England Primary School. Living in a family of actors inspired her to pursue acting from a young age. 5. She and her sisters participated in amateur stage shows at school and at a local youth theatre, named Foundations. At age 5, Winslet made her first stage appearance as Mary in her school's production of The Nativity. She has described herself as quite stocky as a child, she was nicknamed Blubber by her schoolmates and was bullied for the way she looked. 8-9, she said of the experience, I didn't lock myself away and give up on my dream. I fought back. At age 11, Winslet was accepted into the Ray Roofs Theatre School in Maidenhead. The school also functioned as an agency and took students to London to audition for acting jobs. She appeared in a Sugar Puffs commercial and dubbed for foreign films. At school, she was made head girl and took part in productions of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and The Lion, The Witch and the Wardrobe, and played the lead role of Wendy Darling in Peter Pan. 
She worked simultaneously with the Starmaker Theatre Company in reading. She participated in over 20 of their stage productions, but has said that she was rarely selected as the lead due to her weight. Nonetheless, she played key roles as Miss Agatha Hannigan in Annie, the Mother Wolf in The Jungle Book, and Lena Merrily in Bugsim Alone. In 1991, within two weeks of finishing her GCSE examinations, Winslet made her screen debut as one of the main cast members of the BBC science fiction television series Dark Season. Her part was that of Reet, a schoolgirl who helps her classmates fight against a sinister man distributing free computers to her school. She did not earn much from the job, and at age 16, a lack of funds forced Winslet to leave Reed Roofs. To support herself, she worked at a delicatessen. In 1992, she had a small part in the television film Anglo-Saxon Attitudes, an adaptation of Angus Wilson's satirical novel of the same name. Winslet, who weighed 185 pounds at the time, played the daughter of an obese woman in it. While filming, an offhand comment from the director Diarmuid Lawrence about the likeness between her and the actress who played her mother prompted Winslet to lose weight. She next took on the role of the young daughter of a bankrupt middle-aged man, played by Ray Winstone, in the television sitcom Get Back, 1992-93. She also had a guest role in a 1993 episode of the medical drama series Casualty. While filming Dark Season, Winslet, aged 15, began a romantic relationship with the actor-writer Stephen Tradger, who was 12 years her senior. She considered him to be a major influence in her life and cohabited with him in London. The couple separated in 1995, but they remained close until he died of bone cancer two years later. Winslet missed the premiere of Titanic to attend his funeral, and described the experience of losing him as unbelievably heartbreaking. In a 2008 interview, she said that she had never got over his death. A year after Tredra's death, Winslet met Jim Threepleton on the set of Hideous Kinky, in which he was an assistant director. They married in November 1998 at her primary school in Reading, and she gave birth to their daughter, Mia, in 2000. Describing her marriage to Threepleton as a mess, she said that it was the only time in my life that I've ever lost control of my instincts. They divorced in 2001, Winslet believed that the split had been surprisingly amicable. Soon after her separation from Threepleton, Winslet met the director Sam Mendes when he offered her a part in a play. She refused the offer but began dating him. Disillusioned by the way the British tabloids portrayed her personal life, Winslet moved based to New York. She went Mendes in May 2003 on the island of Anguilla. Their son, Joe, was born later that year. 207, the family divided their time in New York with frequent visits to their estate at Cotswolds in England, and describing her family routine in 2009, she said, We go to the park, kick a ball around, go to a museum, watch a movie together or just hang out at home playing Monopoly. Amidst intense media speculation of an affair between Mendez and the actress Rebecca Hall, the couple announced their separation in 2010 and were divorced a year later. Winslet admitted to being heartbroken by the split, but remarked that there's no way I'm going to allow my children to be fucked up because my marriages haven't worked out. While vacationing at Richard Branson's estate at the Necker Island in 2011, Winslet met her third husband, Ned Rock'n'Roll, born Edward Abel Smith, he is the nephew of Branson and works for Virgin Galactic, during a house fire. 210, the couple married in New York in December 2012, and their son, Bear Blaze Winslet, was born the next year. After moving back to England, Winslet purchased a property worth £3.25 million by the sea at West Wittering, where as of 2015, she lives with rock and roll and her children. Describing her life in a 2015 interview, she said, The countryside, particularly, is very good for my head. I love that I can go for a walk, pick blackberries and feed them to the baby as I go along. Winslet has said that despite her three marriages and a family structure that might be perceived as unconventional by some, she does not consider it to be any less of a family. She refuses jobs that take her away from her children for long, and likes to schedule her film commitments to coincide with their school holidays. Discussing her parenting style, Winslet remarked that she enjoys getting breakfast and packing lunches and doing the school run, 